As we've discussed, one of the biggest selling points of WordPress is its extensibility. We've seen how installing a theme can completely transform your website's look in a matter of seconds. But the extensibility of WordPress is not limited to design. You can also add functionality to your website. And the way to do that is by installing a plugin. Plugins are small pieces of software that add various features to WordPress, and they range widely in their scope. So you could have a simple plugin that just adds sharing buttons below the content of your blog posts, or you could have a plugin that transforms your website into a social network with all of the features that come along with that. So clearly there's a wide spectrum of plugins, and you can find one for just about anything you'd want your website to do. As I've said before, the power of WordPress lies in the community and the ubiquity of WordPress. Because there are so many millions of WordPress sites, there are a lot of developers building things to make those websites work. And in the true spirit of WordPress, the vast majority of plugins are free. In this section, we're going to talk about how to find and install plugins on your website. But before we do that, I want to quickly address some best practices for working with plugins. With great power comes great responsibility. WordPress plugins add additional code to your website. So we want to be sure that code is not compromising your site's security or its performance. So the first thing I'd recommend is to always get plugins from reputable sources. In most cases, this would be the official WordPress plugin directory, but there are other places to get plugins, particularly premium plugins. CodeCanyon.net is a popular choice. It's a marketplace run by the same company as ThemeForest, but you may also find yourself on the website of an independent developer who's selling plugins directly to users. There's nothing wrong with this, but I would encourage you to do some due diligence. Quickly Google the name of the plugin, the name of the developer, and just make sure, number one, that you're in the right place downloading from the official source, and number two, that the developer or the company behind the plugin is legit and reputable. My next suggestion would be to limit your plugin use to those that are actually necessary. Pretty much every website is going to use at least a handful of plugins, but what we don't want to do is install every plugin under the sun, because like I said, every one of those plugins is adding code to your website, and that code has to execute every time someone visits your site. So if we have like 50 plugins, that's going to have a substantial impact on your site's speed and performance. Beyond that, if you ever run into a problem where a plugin is causing some kind of issue on your site, having too many plugins can make it difficult to isolate the problem and find the specific plugin that's causing trouble. Now, there's no particular number of plugins that's okay or not okay. It's more about being selective with the plugins you do install. On a similar note, it's always a good idea to vet plugins before you install them. The WordPress plugin directory has a helpful rating system where you can see what other people are saying about a plugin before you install it. Other marketplaces like Code Canyon will typically have this as well. So if a plugin is broken, if it's conflicting with another plugin, things of that nature, you'll typically be warned about that in the reviews. The other thing you'll want to confirm is that the plugin is updated regularly. The biggest security risks with plugins are often not malicious. It's not that there's a bad actor developer behind it. They're just a result of outdated code. So you want to see that a plugin has been updated recently. If it's been years since the last update, you're probably better off finding a different solution. So those are a few recommendations to keep in mind. And in the next couple of videos, we'll cover how to find and install WordPress plugins.